In the ring, who's your daddy? Steve Bradley, ready to square off and do battle with longtime rival D'Lo Brown. Let's go to Hoss for the introduction. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is a singles match. Introducing first, hailing from the combat zone in downtown Boston, Massachusetts, who's your daddy? Steve Bradley! And his opponent. And now, the object of Bradley's affections, and I don't mean that in a good way, coming to the ring, former Intercontinental European Champion, D'Lo Brown. And as I said, we're going to see a war, Brock Guppin. We're going to see a war. We are. This feud just keeps getting hotter and hotter. Bradley now blames D'Lo for losing the tag title. And a month ago, it was Bradley turning on D'Lo when Brown had easy money pinned for the singles title. So you wonder why the animosity? Both these guys, uh, titles mean more money for the uh, owners of those belts. And just as obviously both of these guys have been shortchanged, or at least in their own mind, the battle has already spilled out onto the arena floor. Bradley pitched back in by D'Lo and is waiting on him with a boot to the midsection. Rock, we've got a, as JR would say, a slobber knocker going on here. You know what, Steve Bradley is not your standard brawler. He's got the technical background that he needs to beat you in more ways than one. I mean, he's from, the, he's from the mean streets of Boston. You know, that's a place that I wouldn't want to be on a dark night, but I'd be more than happy to give you directions to. Oh, yes, well, thank you. I, I've been to the mean streets of Boston, broke in up there, as a matter of fact. They may be meaner now, I'm not sure. But right now, I know Steve Bradley, if he's any indication, they're pretty tough in Boston, Mass. He goes out after D'Lo Brown. And, of course, D'Lo was the man who stepped aside to give R.C. Haas the spot in the six-man tag in Dayton, Ohio, so that he is now the proud possessor of the HWA heavyweight crown. Well, I think he did that because he was afraid to get in the ring with Steve Bradley. That's my well, own personal opinion. That wouldn't be the case. I don't believe Brock as we watch what's unfolding in front of us. Bradley with a DDT on D'Lo. We also want to mention our February schedule. HWA returns to Batavia, Ohio on Saturday, February 2nd and 16th at the Red Barn Flea Market. Advanced tickets at the Red Barn. HWA begins a series of Wednesday night events at Oscars Nightclub in Cincinnati. That's in Longworth Hall on West Pete Rose Way, February 6th and 20th. For more information, call 513-421-3007. That's Oscars Nightclub in Cincinnati, February 6th and 20th. Elbow by Bradley drops D'Lo. And, of course, Steve Bradley, certainly one of the top developmental talents, a guy who is just probably inches away from making it to the big dance. And, of course, one of the guys standing in his way would be that man in the ring with him right now, former European and intercontinental champion. Uptown D'Lo Brown. And he's got D'Lo right where he needs him to be. D'Lo cannot get up, you know, and, and do his, his little five-star fog splash or whatever the three-star, four-star. What do they call it five-star? What is it five-star? What is five-star? A match? Is that what you're talking about? It's a five-star match. Well, they could have one, yes. Well, you know, D'Lo's made a lot of wrestlers in the HWA crank it up a notch. He's no stranger to brawling either. He'll come at you with many different ways. We also don't want to mention in February, we return to Dayton, Montgomery County, Fairgrounds Coliseum, Wednesday, February the 13th. Oh, oh, oh suplex Rock Steve Bradley. And I don't right, know if Steve Bradley will be returning to that date. Not, not right now. Uh, they're both stunned now, Brock, and it's a matter of who's going to beat the referee's count. As he hits the midway point at five, both men come to their feet a little shaky. Brown, look at that. Look at, he needs to let him get out of the court. Oh, oh how about referee that? Referee gets shoved out of the way. Bradley throws his shots. He shoves referee Joe Copez out. Of, Copez goes on his rear end again. This time, they both shove him down. Copez is throwing this one out, it appears. This one's gotten out of hand. Lopez is trying to separate him. I think he's afraid to stick his head in there too I far. Lopez needs to get out of the way. Looks like he's calling for reinforcements. Bradley and D'Lo Brown not in, interested in stopping this thing anytime soon. Oh, well, there's some good reinforcements for you. Here comes Bull, Lance Cade, Matt Stryker, Chad Collier, Derek Niker, Maven all hit the ring trying to separate these guys, and they have finally done it. Referee David Hop out to add more assistance. 
Because he's just so good trying to go at it. Oh, D'Lo spears him, goes right back at him. Did we say these guys were enemies? I think I've shortchanged them both. You're talking about Pier 6 Brawl. This is going to Pier 7, 8, and 9. You're absolutely right. Anyway, referee Joe Copez throws the match out. It is a no contest between Steve Bradley and D'Lo Brown. And what a battle it turned out to be. Talk about a battle and no one comes out on top. The referee threw out the match. And when we come back, we'll be hanging with Jamie Noble.